Hi, I'm Tom Everett, Curator of Communications at Ingenium, and I'm here with our recent reconstruction of Alexander Graham Bell and Clarence J. Blake's 1874 ear phonograph. The ear phonograph works by channeling sound wave vibrations, made by speaking into the mouthpiece, into the ear canal of an excised human ear. Vibrations from the eardrum are then passed onto a stylus, which then etches the shape of those vibrations onto a moving plate of smoked glass. Bell's original goal for the instrument was to use it as part of his controversial and ultimately failed deaf speech training program called Visible Speech. However, it's best known today as the instrument that gave him the technical insight he needed to go on and invent the telephone in 1876. Sadly, the original ear phonograph no longer exists, which is why we decided to build this reconstruction using a 3D printed ear to give Canadians the opportunity to see it in person for the first time, as well as to give ourselves the opportunity to see what might be learned by physically recreating a lost object that, for over 100 years, has existed only in historic images and writing. If you want to see the Earphonautograph, it's on permanent display in the Sound by Design exhibition at the Canada Science and Technology Museum in Ottawa.